Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in, clicking my little thumbnail. Today I'm going to talk to you about what it's actually like to have MS. So what's it like being in the MS club? That's right, we have a club. Um, and basically, you know, what it feels like, so physically, mentally, what does an episode actually feel like? Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today as a brief introduction in case you are new here. If you are, a very warm welcome. If you have returned, thank you very much for coming back. Uh, my name's Fliss. Hello. Uh, I was diagnosed with relapsing, remitting MS almost nine years ago. And I've gone from having loads and loads and loads of episodes to um, near to nothing through changing my diet and lifestyle. I've done this channel to try and pass on those hints and tips and lifestyle changes to hopefully help people in the same boat uh, get better and be relapse free as well. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, please do subscribe in the link below and hopefully um, I'll be able to help you get on and get better. So without further ado, let's have the video. <laughs> First things first, MS. What does it actually feel like to have MS? Uh, what does a symptom feel like? To do this, the best way I could think was to talk you through visually. So here goes. Having fatigue is like walking through really, really thick mud and having no energy to do absolutely anything. Brain or cog fog is like having a shower, shampoo in your hair, and then, forgetting you just shampooed it and then shampooing it all over again. Or it can be having a conversation, forgetting the conversation and having the conversation all over again. Other symptoms can be completely losing your balance and falling over. Or having painful and annoying spasms in all your limbs. It's being numb like somebody's touching you through a blanket but that's actually your skin. It's having burning feet that just feel like you're walking on coal having that pins and needles feeling but all over and ongoing. It's having vision problems and eyes that can sometimes be quite painful. Sometimes those vision problems mean that you end up seeing double or having vertigo and feeling very very dizzy. So that is the physical side of MS. Sounds fun doesn't it? It's not. It absolutely sucks. I'm not going to lie to you. When you're in an episode it's just Blech. crap. Um, for me, a lot of the thing with MS is though, it's the mental side of things. Um, for a few reasons. First and foremost, it's that realisation that it's a chronic illness, okay? This crap is never going away. You're always going to have it in the back of your mind, eating away, going, oh, any day I could make you feel like rubbish and there's nothing you could do with it. The way around this that I've spoken to my friends who they've also um, they're also in the club um, and we kind of talked about it and thought actually you know you could go and get hit by a bus tomorrow there's no point dwelling on what it's going to do to you next or because it might not do it so it's one of those just you just got to keep going and not focus on the fact that you've got it and you know just kind of ignore it you know don't let it control you so that's that but there are ways around it um, when I first started when I first got diagnosed not started when I first got diagnosed a big problem was a you don't really know it's not that well known about and the other thing with MS is it's different for everybody so what somebody's got somebody else might not that's why I tried to give as broad a spectrum of the uh, episode symptoms as I possibly could on uh, just earlier um, so it, it it's different for everyone, which means it's it's just so unpredictable. So one minute you're fine, the next minute you wake up not being able to walk, and it's just that constant mind, you know the word, um, that it's just, you feel like rubbish when you've got it, and it's a bit more of a, I used to get upset with it, and now I wake up and kind of go, ugh, yeah, ugh. It's usually when I'm shaving my legs in the shower and I go, hmm. My leg's numb. Um, but luckily, because I have changed diet and lifestyle, like I keep banging on about it, because I've done that, that so rarely happens to me now. I'm quite lucky. Um, and generally, if I've, uh, I get things if I've been a bit poorly, if I've had an infection, because that just fires up your immune system and it starts kicking off. And the, the first thing I generally get now is cog fog, um, which is just funny, really have to look at the bright side of things and just laugh it off. 
but yeah it is a mind me um having ms but you've just got to got to got to got to try and stay positive and talk to people about it if you've got somebody else in the same situation it's so easy just to bounce off each other and go oh have you had that mm, i've not had that mm. um because it just makes you know livable and like i said you're in a little club and so do comment below if you've had any symptoms crazy symptoms that i've not even mentioned um let's have a chat it's it's nice to to bounce off each other and be part of something rather than be suffering with something um so yeah so those are the physical and mental side of MS, um, the unpredictable little demon that lives in your system. Um, that's what it is, it's my little unpredictable demon. Quite like that, just come up with it. Um, so yeah, I hope that was useful for um, if you're just having a little watch or you know somebody with it and it kind of explains it a bit more. Um, please do subscribe below if you'd like to see more of these videos and that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later.